Well, hello Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot at Night. That's what we're calling it now. This is where we spill the tea about the hidden energies. And so this is something that has not happened yet. I want to be clear. Because <laughs> I think sometimes people like, um, I don't know. I, I do the readings and I think sometimes people aren't really listening to what I'm saying. But I could be wrong, y'all. Because, you know, we all, we all are using our intuition here for sure. And just a, like a, an FYI, you know, there's a lot happening and there's a big shift energetically. Uh, and for a lot of people, you're going to see definite changes in relationships, you know, um, shifts in relationships because, you know, Aquarius is about what's good for everyone. So, you know, especially if you have cardinal placements, you're definitely going to see this in your romantic relationships. And there is a lot of divine counterpart energy out here. Uh, you've probably seen it out here on YouTube. People talking about it a lot. Because it is in the astrology that, you know, the divine masculine is stepping up to the plate. The divine masculine is uh, healing. Or it could be one counterpart healing usually. You know, but they're speaking specifically about the Divine Masculine. So, you know, and that's that's about action. That's about, you know, karmic patterns ending. So, you know, we all have feminine and masculine energy. So we're all healing the masculine patterns that might be destructive in relationships. And the... Our divine feminine energy or the divine feminine energy is, is leading us, you know, because usually it is the most healed, right? So, you know, this is, this is pretty specific. And I feel if you don't feel as if you have a divine counterpart, you might not resonate with this, uh, but we'll see. So someone's, someone's taking a leap of faith, okay? Uh, and there's a lot about um, living up to a promise here. So the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles is here. This is definitely someone committed to doing so, to living up to their promises. So particularly if you've had someone let you down in that way, there has been a shift. It has taken this person a long time, for sure, but it's happening, and they're coming to you. I, I, I do feel like that's happening, because I feel like it's either they made, I and I don't feel like this is a recent promise. This almost feels like a faded promise, right? But Oath is here, so they're making a promise to you, for sure, and it does have to do with loyalty, they do want you to listen. Um, and there's a whole lot here about things becoming clear to them that weren't clear before. Not to them. Okay. They they probably were clear to you, maybe. Okay, but let's let's move on. <laughs> so the lovers and the king of pentacles. This person's made a decision. They've made a decision that they're ready for partnership. Okay, and they're ready to do the right thing. They are ready to step up to the plate. And they're, they are most likely coming to you making you a promise. Because oath is like a vow or a promise. And they've been thinking about this a lot. And with the King of Swords here, I feel like they are both of these people. And what is so impressive is where their move might seem small. Um, their energy is definitely king energy. And it's what we love to see. Now, we're not really seeing the emperor as of yet. So I do kind of feel like this person may be, you know, <coughs> on the road. Because Sagittarius, you are the empress. But they're making a lot of effort here. I can tell you that. And this isn't something that, you know, it's not like spontaneous you know how people are who don't keep their promises like they don't 
give it much thought or give the weight of it thought. No, they've given this a lot of thought. And I would, I would suppose that this is someone you're not talking to currently. Maybe separation. But with understanding reverse, they didn't get it. You know, they didn't get it. There was a path here. And a lot of it was about moving forward. Okay. Eight of Wands. It was about forward movement. So something about you was, was always pulling this person towards the future. But I'm guessing that they didn't understand, although I don't see it. Maybe this person was really living in the past. They didn't want to give up the past. They There's something about they weren't really ready for the future because you have a past with this person. You know, I don't mean to go all woo-woo, but it's woo-woo because we're seeing the Wheel of Fortune. They really didn't understand the two of you. They didn't understand what they were supposed to do. Um, they There's just a whole lot they didn't understand. They also didn't understand the gravity of this, you know. So this is a spiritual partner of sorts. Because the Queen and Pen and the King and Queen of Pentacles are here, this may have something to do with long-term commitment, with partnership, with being partners, you know. Uh, and they're right next to each other, so I wouldn't have too many doubts. And this person seems real sure that you're their partner, and they're making a promise to you to be a partner. That's even more impressive to me. And that they show up in the Hierophant. This person is serious. And this is this is a spiritual path that you have with this person. You know, and do, it does it show exactly what your spiritual path is? No, but it has something to do with the future. It does. And I don't know what happened exactly because we don't see any awakening cards here. But the, I feel like the universe has pushed them, okay, and has been pushing them towards the future, which is most likely why the universe put you in their path. Because, like, when you're thinking about people, divine partnership, specifically people we have paths with, which could actually even be friends or family or what have you, but, you know, if you were to put one sign in someone's in someone's energy that had to do with the future i mean i just think that you most likely <laughs> would put a sagittarius or a fire sign in general or an aquarius i mean i just i just that just makes the most sense because sagittarius is very future minded we move forward we don't move backward you know we're the archer <laughs> we're the archer they want you to listen. That's obvious. Okay. They've worked some things out. And it could be that this person had to work some things out with family. Uh, they are going to be talking to you. Okay. The Page of Cups is here. They're opening dialogue and opening it in a very loving way. They, which could say that they're sh they're opening it up showing love to you. Right? They're they're very much opening up to you. There may have been an issue here with family, so I will definitely look at the um Ten of Pentacles, but I feel like this person has decided. They don't really know what you will think, that's for sure. But they're not wasting time now, and I feel like this person wasted a lot of time. Because they're vowing their loyalty to you. They're veiling their loyalty to you. And they weren't loyal. That's the whole point. They know that. Four of Cups. And they probably also didn't see your loyalty. I don't know why. But there is a sense of they really miss something here. They really miss something. But they see it now. And they're not going to be stopped. You know, and I also feel like they don't even know how you will feel about it. And we'll take a look and see how you do feel about it. They just know they have to. And they're coming in really quick, I have to say. 
<laughs> really quick. Six of Wands. Temperance. <laughs> the Empress. Wowza. And the Five of Cups. And I feel like they, they're coming... They may be coming towards you quick so that they don't miss the opportunity or so you don't move on to someone else. They do kind of sense that you have come uh, in, in whatever happened between you, that you have, you're peaceful about it, right? But they also, you know, temperance is about reconciliation. They want to treat you like you deserve to be treated. The Empress, they think a lot of you as well they should. As well, they should, Sagittarius, because you're the angel and you're the empress, right? And I have to tell you that there is a lot of backing here from the universe. You know, for those who say, no, I'm not going back. No, I'm not doing this. This seems to be supported. There's absolutely no cards here of malicious intent, of lying, of, you know, bullshit. There's none of that. And, you know, the Five of Cups, they, they're they sad, for sure. Missing you, feeling, oh, here's the awakening. I feel like what, what has been happening is that this person is finally sitting in their dirt. Okay? Sitting in their dirt, and it's not feeling too good. <gasps> Ten of Cups, oh my gosh, Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And they want to turn things around. They want to turn things around. Jesus. That's a lot. They have given this a lot of thought. Four, four of swords, four of wands. That's the 1111 card too, y'all. So for some of you, you may be coming back into union with a divine partner. You may be doing that, Sage. Or they're definitely coming towards you. What you do with it, of course, will be up to you. They're worried. I think that they're, they're worried that you won't accept what they have to say. They're being honest. And... It might just be a little difficult for you to digest, maybe because of history. But wow, Jesus. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Jeez. The Lovers, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is very, like, this is important, you know? There's so much major arcana, arcana here, which is referring to a big life change. You know, and wow. And it's interesting because the cups that came out, the page of cups, the four of cups, and the ten of cups, which largely I feel is coming from your person. They're probably highly emotional too. Lord, eh? Lordy said, so let's take a look and see how you feel about it. How does Sagittarius feel about this? And you'll know, like, there's no explaining the divine counterpart journey. You know, it is about healing, but, and, and it is filled with a lot of disappointment and pain, too. So you'll know if this is you, particularly, you know, people who come in and out of your life and that feeling like you're supposed to do something more together. So I feel like this person gets it, though. So how will Sagittarius feel about this? How will Sagittarius feel about this? Because this person feels like they're making a vow to you. <laughs> that you are the one. So how will Sagittarius feel about this? How will Sagittarius feel about this? How will 
Four of Pentacles. I think you don't know how to feel. How will Sagittarius feel about this? <laughs> how will Sagittarius feel? Oh. How will Sagittarius feel? You're not sure. You know, we've seen this before. And I feel like, too, that you, um, the magician's on the bottom with the chariot and the knight of wands. Interesting. Seven of swords. I feel like you're not sure that you believe them. But this could be, too, like you've been down this road before, so... It just feels like you're a little reserved, right? With the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles, like you're in a good place and it took you time to get there. And you you want to take the lessons of the past, so you're not going to jump in, right? You're not going to jump in. With the Page of Pentacles being here at all doesn't say that you're not going to give them a chance to prove themselves. Oh, there we go. The Hermit. King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. And it's kind of like, <laughs> where you been? <laughs> right? Where you been? You've been gone all this time. And now, just like, just like that. Just like that. I feel like you may actually be kind of like uh, combative with this person. And I feel like it comes from a place... <laughs> wow. You're ending with the star. Mm. You want this. But I also feel like you want this person to prove something to you. You know, because you've been down this road where they come back and you get excited about it. And you you start to believe it. And they put, you know, a little bit of effort in. You know, so you really want to see the effort and you want to see the effort over time. Okay. The star is here, which is telling you that you do see it as a good sign. You are inspired. You, you do want to heal things. I just feel like you're a little reserved. Six of Cups in the world. This is a past life partner. I feel like you're going to give them a little bit of a chance to make things better and prove to you that it's going to be different than it was. Wheel of Fortune. The, and they are. So, oh my goodness. Like this person... Mm, 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 mm. Wow. And there's the, you're ending with the Queen of Pentacles. This person is doing some real work here with you. And, you know, I've heard, I heard another reader say that the divine masculine heals in union, right? So they're, they're like, they go, and they go from the King of Pentacles to the Emperor on the back side of the Wheel of Fortune. So this person is really putting a lot of effort into it. I, I feel like you might still, like there is, a, there is some resistance within you, okay? Maybe even it has to do with the past. Maybe we have to settle something from the past, but... The Queen of Pentacles is here, which also, you know, says a lot about wanting them to prove themselves over time. You really want to believe them, you know, but you're also afraid because the last time really hurt you. And it, it took a lot for you to heal from it. But I'm telling you what, the Four of Wands is here. It is happening. There's real change happening. There's harmony happening.
and a lot of communication. We do, and here, here's the thing too, we do have to talk about the past. We do. Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Death card. And like really, as much as they didn't understand who who you were and the, the path you were supposed to be on, they need to understand how they made you feel. You know, the Five of Pentacles, abandoned. You know, and how, you know, you when they left, you felt that and you, and you can't do that again. So there's going to be a lot of communication. Oh, yeah, with the Queen of Swords, you're giving it to them big and straight. And I feel like this is a change. I feel like it's possible that you were very gentle with this person in the past, but you're not being gentle. Okay, you're being very blunt. And this is a big change. And it might also be a little bit for your person because like you're kind of introducing them to a whole new you. There's a there's a feeling of tough love here, right? But it does feel like you're taking another path with this person. Taking a chance. The fool. Leaving the past behind. And, and really kind of focus on how it will be different this time. Right? So I don't feel... Wow. Okay. Two of Wands, too. I'm trying to think of when that would be, but obviously twos are important. Wow. That's pretty major. So it could be that some of you are coming into union with a divine partner again, but you know, this time around things move very slowly. Maybe they, you felt like they moved slowly before, but that was, they decided, they just weren't taking action. There's action being taken here, but it's very, it's like over time. Over time, Sag. The Magician, the Chariot, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're kind of like overriding your, like, um, you don't trust this person now. They're going to earn it. They're going to earn your trust. Wowza. I love that. I love that. You know, and if it's like for you, if you think this is just something you don't want at all, then it then it's just something you don't want. You know? I feel like this is specifically for those who do want it who are on this divine path and who do want that with this person. I can tell that they frustrated you a lot, though, for sure. So let's get some final words from the universe. Final words. Blessed. These cards are all screwy. So this is a blessing, Sag. A lot of twos. Two, two, two. Which does deal with soulmates as well. It is essentially telling you that you are protected. You know? You are protected. Wow. And I feel like what you discover this time around is that you're moving beyond doing things um, the way they were done before. And that's what you're finding out. And there is a blessing in this, right? By the book is a particular way of doing things, especially in terms of you, Sag, when, when you would be the one most of the time giving a leg up is helping and you know i feel like there's something here that has changed that is going to change and it needs to change
and also I feel like it's it's going to be walking away from this sense of loneliness or inner loneliness you've had since this person left the last time. Well, so okay, okay, so I do. Let me know how it works out. Let me know how it works out, and I will talk to you soon. Toodles.